Malaria is a life-threatening infectious disease that is present in many tropical countries. To control its spread, health authorities in Laos have implemented malaria control and elimination programs. Effective management of these programs requires the collection of detailed information on where and when malaria cases occur. Before 2016, these data were collected through paper forms, which was error-prone and time-consuming. They needed a better, faster, and more reliable way to collect and analyze data to make evidence-based decisions to fight the spread of malaria. In 2016, they adopted DHIS-2 as a health information system for their National Malaria Control Program. What steps did they take to set up DHIS-2? First, they configured the aggregate data entry forms in DHIS-2 to look like the paper forms they were using before, collecting the same data points, such as number of tests performed, positive cases, treatments, and deaths, at the same monthly frequency. Second, they used mass import tools to add the historical malaria data they had collected over the previous years to DHIS-2. Third, they used built-in DHIS-2 localization tools to translate the platform into their local language and began collecting monthly aggregate data directly in DHIS-2. What was the benefit of this implementation for them? Using DHIS-2, health authorities in Laos were able to analyze the data using dashboards, maps, charts, and other visualizations much more quickly and with fewer errors, which helped with program planning, monitoring, and management for malaria control. Eventually, to support districts where the rate of malaria cases was low enough to switch from a malaria control strategy to malaria elimination, they decided they needed more specific information on each individual case of malaria detected so they could better track, analyze, and follow up on them. What did they do? In 2018, they introduced a new module in DHIS-2. Specifically in malaria elimination settings, Tracker was added to collect detailed information on each individual case of malaria. This helped plan and monitor follow-up actions down to the patient level, instead of just interventions based on analysis of regional and national trends. Meanwhile, in districts that were still focused on malaria control, the monthly aggregate data forms were still used to collect summaries of malaria cases. Then, in 2019, the Ministry of Health decided to record all malaria-positive cases in malaria control settings as individual data points as soon as they were detected, but without tracking each unique case over time. To do this, they replace their monthly aggregate data forms with event data forms. This change allowed for more timely reporting and more granular data analysis to support malaria control efforts. And as event data can be automatically aggregated in DHIS-2, this allowed program managers to continue using aggregate monitoring dashboards without the need for duplicate aggregate data reporting. In summary, Laos has used DHIS-2 to support its objectives to fight the spread of malaria. DHIS-2 has proven to be a flexible tool that adapts to meet the country's evolving demands, including incorporating more complex and granular reporting requirements without the need for additional software systems or duplicate reporting. <laughs>